Hi there. As you can see from this amazing light quality, this amazing video quality, and all the noise in the background, that I'm not a professional YouTuber. So why am I doing this? I don't know. Maybe I was dropped in the head several times as an adult, and uh, I didn't know anything else to do, but why are you here? You should probably leave because, seriously, <laughs> there is so much better content out there with budget more than the price of my kidney in the black market. So, uh, it's really no reason why you should hang around. But, 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 before you leave, just consider this. What if I told you that you will get something from this channel, something that you can never get from any channel ever? You're already leaving. I can see that. You can see through the bullshit. <laughs> but no, seriously. Uh, all bullshit aside, I just want to talk about what this channel is about and what I'm about so you can get a glimpse and you can maybe decide to stick around. You see, um, before I talk about who I am, where I'm from, this and that, like everybody else, ever since I was a kid, I had never wanted to be anything else besides a writer. That has always been the thing that I always did. It was not like a dream, like I want to be a famous author or whatever. But writing sort of naturally kind of flew out of me like a bird trapped in a cage and the pen was the key. Every time I would sit down and write, words would just simply flow. It's something I love to do. I can't help it. So it was just something I really wanted to It, it was something that I really liked to do as a kid. but. Teenage years kind of took that away from me and put me into this place where I didn't want to be. But on a road to self-discovery, I realized that there, there was nothing else I wanted to do except this. There was nothing else I wanted to do except publish my first novel. Because telling stories is all that I ever knew how to do. It's like this is in my blood. So <laughs> the reason why I'm sitting here under the shitty lights in front of my front camera smartphone is because of a very selfish reason. And it's, it's that I was about to give all of this up, uh, writing um, and YouTube. I was just, I was planning my story out. I was writing it down, I was writing the outline, I was writing down the characters. And I was making some videos uh, and I was uploading them one by one, not many because I had to focus on, I had to figure out what I wanted to do with my YouTube channel. So I was doing it, but like about three months ago, I was ready to pack it all up. I was ready to just give it all up and I was looking for jobs and everything. And uh, even though I knew that, I knew what my qualifications were given my degree, it was like, even though I knew where I would be uh, accepted and declined, I just realized that I just couldn't do it. I couldn't sit there. I, could, I can't do it. And I know that people uh, have their own thing that they need to do, but that is just not my thing. So before I give uh, all of this up, before I give writing up or YouTube up, which I think I might be going towards that someday, I don't want to. I seriously don't. Because for people like me, I'm not an American, by the way. I'm not a Western. For, for a person like me from a third world place of a third world country, you're just not supposed to follow your dream. You're supposed to get a job and you're supposed to feed yourself to survive and feed your gigantic family, whatever you have. Thank God I don't have that. But still, I... Ugh, what The decision I'm making is so stupid that I... I think everybody that in my life has told me, you're stupid, this, this, you shouldn't do this. And I'm going against all of that and I'm making this video if, if, and that's for a very selfish reason and I want you guys to stick around for a very selfish reason and that is I am liable for every thing I'm about to say in this channel. That's just the first point of why I want you guys to stay and why I'm making these videos is because I'm going to be liable for every video I make. And the videos I'm going to make is that I'm going to document the journey I'm about to take off my writing. I'm going to document my writing journey from day one to day for for as long as it takes, six months, one year, to from day one to day last, I'm going to 
document my writing journey. I'm going to talk about all the planning stages. I'm going to talk about the, the, the progress I've made. I'm going to talk about the writer's blocks. I'm going to talk about the frustrations. I'm going to talk about life getting in the way. I'm going to talk about all of it and I'm going to document it here so that people can see it and so that I'm liable now for giving you my word for giving the person who's watching right now my word that I'm going to finish this. So now I've given someone my word and I'm and I can't back out of what I've said because that would mean I've pussied out of whatever I said. So that would make me a subhuman, so to speak. So this particular thing would make me liable for my decision and for my actions. And so that every time I think about backing out of it, I can go back and see these and realize that even though there is one view, even though there is there are five views, even though there are 30 views, there means 30 people saw it and 30 people have now listened to me make a declaration, a public one, that I'm going to sit down every day for as long as it takes, toil through the bullshit that's about to come, and not back out of however much every fiber of my logical brain says, this is a stupid decision, you're never going to succeed, you know, you, the odds are all against you, you're not rich, you're not from a first world country, you don't have connections, you don't have a network, every fiber of my being, no matter how much it says that writing a novel is a bad idea, I'm going to do it and I'm going to see through it and I'm going to be liable for it because now I've made a public display so that other people can see through it as well and call me out on my shit and I can call myself out on my shit and be like, oh no, I made a video saying I'm gonna do that. I'm, I made a video saying that I planned out this fucking thing. Wow, should I back out right now? <laughs> I'm, I'm actually thinking of not uploading this. I'm actually thinking of backing out right now and being like, oh no, because people love calling people out on that shit on their shit, especially me. So putting myself in this vulnerable position is um, is kind of a strange thing. Because you know what? 2016 was not my year. 2017 was definitely my year. 2016 walloped me in the face so hard that right after my degree, I was planning on doing this, doing that, planning on going to university. I would have not been here, by the way. I would have never thought about writing because I was like, yeah, I should take the rational decision and be a teacher or something along that lines after my English literature degree and just, you know, do the right thing and feed myself and my family. And uh, life walloped me so hard on my 300 pound ass, that's right, that I fell and I, I lost all direction from life. I lost all sense of who I am, what I'm supposed to do. I just realized at that point that this, wherever I am, this is not where I was supposed to be. This is not where I'm supposed to be. And uh, I never wanted an English literature degree. I just did it because, well, people do that sort of stuff, get degrees and go to college and shit like that. So that's when I figured out I need to go back. I need to have my call to adventure. So the only place I went back to was my childhood and in my journals I found out that the only thing that kept me awake, the only thing that kept me going was writing, writing stories and writing poems. As always, I've told stories to everyone my whole life. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be a kid again. I'm gonna be my old self again. I'm not gonna give a shit whoever thinks whatever. So these videos are gonna be me being liable for my own shit. Number two, the second reason I wanted to make these videos is because I think I'm not the only SOB out there who thinks this way. I think there are a lot of us out there right now thinking the same thing. And it doesn't matter what you're doing, whether it's writing a novel like me or whether it's any kind of creative process, music, painting, trying to do a startup, inventing something, whatever it is that I'm going through, I think you're going through as well. So the purpose of these videos is going to be that I hope these videos help some other people out there as well who are struggling through the same thing. So you can have a reference point, you can watch 
my videos on it and you can kind of have some kind of familiarity and similarity and where you can be like oh I'm not the only person struggling and you can watch me go through my progresses and what I've done and how I've uh, disciplinized this bullshit which is really really tough by the way to disciplinize to disciplinize I'm just using a word now just making words up now so to make, to to implement discipline on something as vast and as cocky as creativity is really really hard and how I do that and you can kind of take tips or you can also just watch them and understand that you're not the only one out there and also you can tell me whenever I'm screwing up and whenever you think I've turned into a mess you can always come and tell me that hey straighten yourself out so yeah these videos are made for me and for you so that that's the purpose of this channel that's the main purpose of this channel bonus purpose of this channel is that I love YouTube I love YouTube culture I love youtubers and I love all the new stuff that keeps coming out and all the old stuff that has happened I love the gossip and the drama and I love uh, analyzing these things and seeing how YouTube has progressed for me YouTube is like everything it's like an academy it's it's like uh, a television it's like it's like my own personal source of information it's it's everything for me so I, I really enjoy whatever keeps happening on YouTube and I like to analyze stuff like that I've also made a video analyzing some of my favorite creators I Dubs and uh, Joji Miller in particular, uh, and some other uh, some other YouTubers like that, and the problem of typecasting that has happened. So you can watch the video right here if I can link it, or in the description box below. I'm gonna link that. If that's a good essay. You can watch it. I'm gonna make videos like those. However, those essays kind of take a bit of time to write and to create the video, to edit the video as well. So those will not be a regular occurrence on this channel. Uh, they will be once or twice a month. Those, those video essays are going to be once or twice a month. I'm going to be talking about my favorite creators. I'm going to be talking about my favorite trends on YouTube. Not like trendy topics, I mean like a, like a genre of YouTube culture. Sometimes I'm going to analyze odd stuff like that. So I'm making one right now. So uh, it, uh, yeah, you can also um, suggest to me if you want me to talk about someone or something or some kind of problem you think that's going on. Uh, so that is something that I would do as well. So look out for that. So yeah, basically that's it. That's the purpose of this channel. And uh, I hope you stick around. I'm glad that you stuck around for this long in this video. I'm very grateful for that. Thank you for watching and always remember to remain a kid at heart.